All right, everybody, welcome back to class. Uh, this is my be beginner. It's about a medium level uh, beginner, beginner class. And uh, we are going to be uh, practicing our reading comprehension. Okay, so I have, uh, I have a, a sheet that has, I think, either two or three um, short stories. And, uh, and we are going to uh, read through them. We're not going to be focusing on pronunciation as much, but mainly reading comprehension. Okay, uh, to see if we remember the answers, uh, and, as well as uh, as going through. Um, and if you cannot remember, going back to the the paragraphs and finding the answers there. Okay. Um, so um, yeah. So if you can understand a little bit of what you are reading. Okay, your pronunciation does not have to be perfect. Okay, we're not working on pronunciation. It's mainly uh, reading comprehension, and that's that's what we're working on uh, right now in this next class. Okay, uh, so the link that uh, that I have okay is uh, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the chat box. That's in the Verbling chat box for you. Uh, and if you decide to come into class and hang out in the Google chat, I'll put the link there for you as well. Okay. Um, now, Juan, uh, Juan, I can't tell from your from your picture which Juan you are. Um, uh, where where are you from, Juan? That may help me out. Because if it's uh, Juan from Mexicali in uh, in California, you are you are definitely not at a beginner's level. <laughs> yes, that is a. <laughs> yeah, you are you are definitely not at a beginner's level, Juan. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's uh, let's see who we have uh, so far. Uh, Zufar, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm I'm great. I'm beautiful today. Great. That's great to hear. Welcome back to class. Uh, how about uh, Jin Wei? How are you? Jin Wei, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you again. Yes, good to see you. Welcome to class. I want to be a beginner. Everyone is a beginner. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Yuki. Yuki, can you hear me okay? All right, let's go to uh, Rex. Rex, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Rex, where Doing are good. you from? Rex, where are you Mexico. from? From Mexico. Excellent. Uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. I'm all right, let's go to uh, Jose. Okay, thank you. Hi, Jose. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Welcome, welcome back to class. Thanks. All right, how about uh, Fabian? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How was your day today? Uh, today is a great day for me. Excellent. Good, good to have you here. Uh, yes, I am here. Very, very happy to learn. To learn. Great, great. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, let's see. We also have Anastasia. 
Oh, uh, no, you're wrong. Oh, Oksana! <laughs> good morning yes. for me and uh, good night for you. Exactly. Good evening, I good evening should... for you. I, I, should, I should have known because it is a, a, it is a beginner's class. So yes, welcome, welcome to class. Yes. How are you today? Fine, thank you. I just wake up and go to learn English. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well, good to have you here. Nice to see you again. Thank you. All right, and uh, let's see. Uh, Alex, how are you, Alexander? Hi, teacher. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. <laughs> good to see you as well. All right, and uh, let's see. We also have uh, Adela. How are you? Fine. Great. Welcome to class. Good to see you again. Thank you. Okay. And we also have uh, Mustafa. How are you? Fine, Chet. Great. Good to have you back in class. Thanks. Great. Um, all right. Uh, Mustafa, uh, can I have you mute your microphone? Uh, it looks like, or it sounds like the, there's a TV playing in the background there. Can I have you mute yeah. your microphone? Uh, I turn off the TV. Okay, all right. Very good. All right, so, class, uh, the link to the, uh, the page we are going to be uh, uh, studying through is in the chat box. Uh, please open that up. Uh, when you do, this is what you'll see. Okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. All right, let's start off on the uh, left-hand side. Uh, sorry, on the right-hand side with uh, Zufar. Uh, and uh, Zufar. Let yes. me have you read uh, the first, uh, we'll do the first few lines here. Uh, so go ahead and read, uh, read to uh, downtown, right there, please. Go ahead and read that. Okay. This weekend I am going to be very busty. And Saturday uh, morning I am going to play uh, soccer, watch when uh, we, with my team. Uh, then my family and uh, I, I are going to watch my sister sister's dance re recital. 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 Uh, I'm going to pick up my uh, grandmother and uh, the way. In the uh, evening, I'm I'm going to meet my Buddies, buddies, uh, buddies, buddies. Bud buddies downtown. Okay, excellent. And uh, uh, Jinwei, let me have you uh, continue and read the rest of the sentences in the box, please. Okay. We're going to go to a bar, and uh, we're going to. Sing. Oh, I don't know this word. The word is karaoke. Oh, sing karaoke mm -hmm. on Sunday. I'm going to wash my car. Then I'm going to the gym to work out. In the evening, I'm going to take my girlfriend to a restaurant, and then. We're going to rent a movie. Oh, Great. sir. My uh, just tell there. Thank you. And so bad. Uh, don't worry about it because this class we are not focusing on pronunciation. We are working on uh, understanding what we read. Okay, so no worries. Now, class, oh, thank you. Are, there, are there any questions about what we just read? Do you have any words, or are there any words here that you do not understand? Please let me know. Uh, sorry, right, what okay. mean? <laughs> sorry, okay. what mean recital? 
dance recital. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, I, I have a question for karaoke as well as recital. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'll do karaoke first. All right, so uh, this word is an, is an interesting word. I think it may may come, uh, you know what, I don't know exactly where it comes from. So uh, I will not suppose. But uh, let me show you a picture. Pictures are always best. Oh, sir. Hello. The uh, karaoke. Okay. Is, yes, hold uh, on, hold on. Hey, is, hey, hold on. Uh, oh, oh. Jin, Jinwei, hold on one second, okay? So, uh, karaoke is when you uh, you are singing, okay? And let's see. All right, so you usually sing at maybe a bar, okay? And you get together with your friends, and you read the words, and you uh, sing together, okay? Uh, a lot of times, all right, where's the... Uh, a lot of times, it uh, uh, you have fun, okay, and you can drink some alcohol or drink some drinks and uh, and sing together. But for the most part, karaoke is when you sing in front of others and you are not being a professional singer, okay. Um, that's that's where that uh, that word uh, karaoke and and Yuki, I didn't know if it was Japanese. Um, I had heard that's what it was, but I wasn't absolutely. Uh, Sure. So, uh, if you if you say that it is, um, then it uh, it quite possibly could be. Okay. Now, um, and let's go to recital. Okay. Now, the word recital. Okay, is uh, is when someone is performing music in front of others. Okay, sometimes it could be a piano, okay, like you see here. Maybe it's uh, these people here, okay, and they're playing uh, in some instruments. Uh, but you usually play on a stage, like you see here, in front of people that sit. Okay, uh, so this would be a recital. They are playing their, their music in front of other people. Okay, this is another example of a recital. Does that make sense, Oksana? Yes, this means dance recital, and this I understood somebody dance on the skin. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, dancing, okay. Uh, a dance recital. Uh, you can also have a, a musical recital. Okay. Uh, any of those things. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Um, it, are there any other <laughs> questions? Any other questions? Yes, class? teacher. Yes, teacher. What's my body's downtown? Okay, my buddies. Okay, buddies are going to be your friends. Okay, buddies, buddies friends. friends. Sorry, buddies are friends, and and usually, um, uh, Fabian, usually it's what guys would say. Guys have buddies. Okay, a girl would not say, "I'm going to meet my buddies." Because girls don't have buddies, okay? That that isn't a word that they would use. Girls would probably say, "I'm going to meet my girlfriends," and that those are girls who are their friends. It's their girlfriends. But guys, we have buddies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Now downtown, okay? Because they're separate words. Buddies are are friends. So here, they uh, he's saying that he's going to meet. Okay. So get together or meet his buddies downtown. Now downtown um, is uh, any part of a uh, of a city. Okay, um, that uh, it's usually the most active part. Okay, so you have the large bu buildings. Okay, this would be considered downtown. Okay, where you have the large buildings there. Okay, a lot of people. Okay, things like that. That would be downtown. Does that make sense, Fabian? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Uh, any other questions, class? Uh, soccer. Okay. Soccer means football.
Okay. Um, soccer is football. And uh, uh, yes, uh, in, in the United States, football means something different. But uh, um, uh, Zufar, this, this here, what, this is soccer. Okay, the game of soccer. But everybody else in the whole entire world calls it football. <laughs> it's just us Americans, we don't. We call it soccer. Don't know why, but that's, a, that's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, American football is slightly different. Okay. Uh, Sabri wants to know what the word country uh, do we have the word country here? Um, country is going to be uh, where you are, where you're from. Uh, did we have the word country here? Uh, yeah, it's, it, it would be where you're from. So I am from uh, the United States. That's the the country I am from. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see that here. Okay. Any other questions, class? Nope. Okay. Great. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and scroll down to the questions to answer. Okay. So uh, question number one. All right. This is for Rex. Rex, please read question number one and answer the question. I'm going to the ref a lot of free time this weekend. Okay, uh, this is for Rex. Uh, Alexander, uh, Rex. Oh, sorry, teacher. Sure, no problem. Uh, Rex. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of free time this weekend. Um, no. Okay, uh, so how do we know that he will not have a lot of free time this weekend, Rex? Yes. Um, personally, with, uh, I know that I'm going to pick up my um, grandmother. That's it. Okay, so at uh, the very beginning, to, to um, because uh, Rex, at the very beginning of the uh, of this uh, paragraph, he says, "This weekend, I'm going to be very busy." Okay, being uh, busy yep. means that you will not have a lot of time. So, yes, you are right. He will not have a lot of free time this weekend. Thank you. Let's go to question number two, and this is for Mustafa. Number two, what am I going to do Saturday morning? Do you read me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. I can't hear you. Uh, yes, I can hear you just fine, Mustafa. Uh, the question is, okay. what am I going to do Saturday morning? He going to do um, play the football. Good. Yes, he's going morning. to play. Good. He's going to play football uh, with it with his family on. Uh, uh, or sorry, with his uh, with with his team. Okay. With, with, with his team, yes. Okay, good. Um, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Jose. Jose, please read question number three and give me the answer. Uh, what am what I'm I going to watch with my family? Um, you're going to watch... Your sister dance recital. Okay, uh, you're going to watch your sisters. Make sure that you uh, add that S there. Sisters dance recital. Recital. Good. Yeah. Sisters. Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about uh, question number four? And this is for uh, Fabian. Okay. Who am I? I go. Excuse me. Who am I going to pick up on the way? Uh, I am going to pick up my grandmother on the way. 
Good, yeah, and I believe it says here, yep, he's going to pick up his grandmother on the way. Good. Okay, how about uh, question uh, number five? And question number five is for Oksana. <clears throat> what am I going to do Saturday evening? Um, mm, uh, he is going to restaurant with girlfriend. Okay, he's uh, he's going to uh, um, uh, going to the bar or the restaurant. Okay, uh, either way, uh, with his friends or with his buddies. Good. You could also say that he is going downtown with his buddies. As they say in the evening, in the end of the text, in the evening I am going to take my girlfriend to restaurant, and in the evening I am going to meet my buddies. What the, what the right? Okay, uh, but here, um, right now, we're talking about Saturday. So on Saturday morning, everything that he does on Saturday happens right here. Okay. Uh, sorry. Now. Yeah, then mm -hmm. it says on Sunday. Then it tells us what yeah. he will do on Sunday. So yeah. this is what he's going to do on Saturday evening. He's uh, going to meet buddies in the evening. Good. Yeah, he's going to meet up with his buddies in the evening. Okay. And, uh, and uh, what are they going to go do? This question for me? Uh, yes. Yes. What are when he meets with his buddies? What are they going to go do? Uh, they going to sing karaoke. Good. Yes, they're going to sing karaoke. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, next question is for uh, Alexander. Yes. All right. Number question six. Number six. What I'm going to do this Sunday? This Sunday is we're going to the bar and going to the karaoke on Sunday. Okay, so let's see. On Sunday. All right, so on Sunday there's two things. So, um, oh, wash my car. There you go. Wash, wash so, my car. And what what else will he do on Sunday? Yes, he's going to wash his car. But what is the second thing he will do on Sunday? Uh, Jim, Jim, Jim uh, to work out. Yeah, he's gonna go uh, lift some weights at the gym. He'll go work out. Okay, yeah. excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's go to. Uh, question number seven, and this is for Adela. What am I going to do Sunday evening? Um, I I'm going uh, I'm going to take my boyfriend to go to the to a restaurant. Uh, after that, uh, to rent a movie. Okay, yeah, and it'll be girlfriend. So he's going no, to take his uh, girlfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yes. If it, if it's uh, if you are saying that, yes, Adela, you would take your boyfriend. But you're answering the question uh, for uh, for him. He says, uh, yes. "What am I going to do?" So you would say, "He." Yes. Uh, okay. This is he a... is going to take his girlfriend. This is a joke. Uh, oh, gotcha. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. You're talking about him. Yeah, yeah. I she she changed it uh, as a as a joke because she was talking about herself. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Adela. Okay. Uh, very good. Now, class, do you have any questions so far? Any questions for me? All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep going down. We're going to go to our next story. Okay, Julie's plans for tonight. All right. Uh, so, sorry, Chad, can I have a question? 
Sure, what is your question? When we read uh, text, we need to answer the question like for my opinion or for he or she would uh, uh, it would be it would be he or she. So, for example, um, if uh, uh, let me get back here. So, um, uh, what am I going uh, to do? You can say you, okay, if you were talking to the person. All right, um, but uh, we 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 would say uh, he, okay, because we were talking about uh, this uh, this guy here. And so, what am I going to do Saturday morning? Our answer would be, okay, um, he is going to play soccer, okay, play a soccer match with his team. Yeah, uh, thank you, because many people answer like they do by his self. Uh, sure, yes, like they, they're, they're saying that. Uh, all, all I'm doing here is making sure that they're, they can find the answers Okay, in the in the text, okay, and answer them. Um, that that's more uh, being a grammatical, okay, mm -hmm. test. And we have people of, of different levels here in class. I just want to make sure that they are understanding uh, more or less what they are reading. Okay, thank you. Okay, but that that's a good question. Okay, no worries. All right, let's go to. Um, Let's go to Julie's plans for tonight, and I believe my uh, my last readers were Zafar and uh, Jinwei. And so let's go to Rex and Jose. I'll have you guys read. Uh, Rex, uh, please read uh, the first uh, few sentences. Tonight, Julie, it's going to have fun. She's going to meet her friend downtown. First, they are going to have dinner at a restaurant. They are going to order the most expensive thing on the menu. They are also going to order the biggest dessert. Good, thank you. All right, and let's see, Jose, let me have you finish off the rest of this paragraph. Okay. Then, they are going to go dancing. Julie is going to get dressed up. She's going to wear a new dress. She's also going to put on makeup. They are going to find a dance club that is open all night long. Tonight, Julie is going to stay out really late. She's going to party all night. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, class, do you have any questions? about anything that we read here, any words that you do not understand. Yes, teacher. Uh, what's my get dressed up? To okay. get dressed up. To get dressed up. All right. So to get, get dressed up means that, uh, that you are addressing yourself in a, a fancy way. Okay. So if I was to get dressed up, I would probably wear a, a suit and tie, okay, uh, or a tuxedo, okay, and that would be to get dressed up, okay. Uh, a woman would probably wear a uh, a fancy. Uh, okay, something like that. That would be to get dressed up. Does that make sense? Vestirse bien. Uh, yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Very good. Uh, any any other questions? And I try I try not to use my Spanish as much as possible. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I, I I say that I say that for for myself because my my initial reaction is to explain it in Spanish, and uh, and some people here don't understand Spanish, so it would be unfair to do that uh, at times. So yes, you're absolutely correct, though. Uh, any other questions, class?
No, no other questions. Okay, uh, great. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, answer questions down below. All right. So uh, first up, let's see. I'll say and okay. So um, let's go to Fabian. Let me have you uh, read question number one and answer the question. Okay. Question number one. Is Julie going to have fun tonight? Uh, the answer is uh, yes. She is going to uh, have fun. Has fun. Uh, have 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 fun. Yes. Yeah, so yes, she is. Whoops. Yes, she is going to have fun tonight. Okay. Good. All right. How about uh, Oksana? Uh, where is she, please? Number two, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where Where is she going to meet her friends? Uh, she is going to meet her friends downtown. Good. Yeah, she's she's going to meet her friends downtown. Whoops. Let me go back up. Okay, she's going to meet her friends downtown. Excellent. Right out of the right out of the script. Okay, uh, how about uh, number three? And this is for Alexander. Yes, teacher. Number three is what are they going to do first? Teacher, the first two going to have dinner at a restaurant. Okay, good. So, have dinner. At first, they are going to have dinner at a restaurant. Let's uh, go ahead and check the answer. Whoops. Okay. Right there. First, they are going to have dinner at a restaurant. Excellent. Okay. How about uh, question number four? And this is for uh, Zufar. Okay. <clears throat> what uh, What are are they going to order to the restaurant? Uh, they are going to order the most expensive the uh, thing on the menu. Okay, yeah, they're going to order the most expensive thing on the menu. That sounds like my wife. My wife always wants to order the most expensive thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and uh, usually that's okay because uh, we only go to, no, I was going to say we only go to McDonald's, but that's not true. I, I like to uh, go to uh, nicer restaurants uh, with, my, with my wife. Um, very good. Let's, uh, let's go to Yasin. Yasin, how are you? Uh, thanks for asking, teacher. I'm good. I'm really good. Uh, and you, teacher? What about you? I'm doing, I'm doing great. Doing much better now that I have my internet back. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm nice to see you again. <clears throat> Good to see you as well. Uh, let me have you read question number five and number answer five. the question. What are they going to do after they eat? Uh, they're also going to order the biggest dessert. Okay, good. They're, 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 <laughs> they are going to order okay, the biggest dessert. Okay? Okay, thank you. Good. Now, uh, be, be careful with this word, class, okay, uh, because, okay, dessert, okay, dessert here is uh, like, uh, um, like cake, cake and, and, and ice cream, cake. okay, uh, things like that. That is dessert, all right? Now, um, if we say desert, that is something completely different. But you see how the words are spelled very closely together. Okay, one only has one S, the other has two S's. Okay, and the pronunciation is a little different as well. So, uh, you do not want to say, uh, I would like some desert, please. The reason being is because if you ask for desert, this is what desert is. Okay, this is desert. Okay, so you want sand and the, and the heat. Okay, notice how we only have one S. That is desert. Now, if I add an S there, that changes the meaning. 
Okay, and the accent is at the end of the word. The word is now dessert, and this is dessert. Mmm, <laughs> that looks delicious. That's what we want, right? We don't want desert. We want dessert. Okay, great. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go to my uh, my next uh, answerer. Okay, uh, Rex. Rex, how about, uh, I think I'm on question number six. Give me one second. Okay, uh, question number six, please, Rex. Holly, how is Judy going to get the present off? Because I yeah. have a mobile device, I can. Uh, Rex, are you there? I, I heard you for a second. I don't know where you went. Okay, okay. Uh, there you are. So, how is uh, how is Julie going to get dressed up? Our answer is right here. Rex? She's going to wear a new dress. Good, yes, she's going to wear a new dress. And uh, what else is she going to put on? On um, all the uh, makeup. Yes, she will also put on makeup. Okay, great. Um, how about, uh, how about uh, question number seven? And this is for, let's see, uh, Marilyn, how are you? Okay. Uh, Jose, are you back? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, question number seven, please, Jose. Is, is Julie going to stay out late? Yes, she is. Yeah. So when we say all night long, okay, uh, sometimes we don't mean all night. Okay. What that what that also can mean is very late. So all night does not necessarily mean that she's going to stay up all night. Okay. It could just mean very late. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, usually, if you're staying up all night and going dancing, uh, you probably don't come home until at least five, five o'clock in the morning. Okay, maybe six uh, o'clock. You know, something like that. That means you're staying out out all night and uh, and doing whatever it is you're doing. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Sure. No problem. Uh, let's go to Fabian. Show number right. eight. Uh, yeah, number eight, please. Okay. Uh, what is she going to do all night? Uh, the answer is she is going to party all night. Uh, yeah, she's going to uh, party. Okay, she is going to party all night. There you go. She's going to party all night. Very good. All right, let's uh, let's uh, see now, class. Do you have any other questions? Okay, any other questions here? Okay, uh, let's. Uh, uh, yes. Teacher, I have one more questions. In sure. the first, they are going to have dinner at the restaurant. It's possible use. At restaurant, in a restaurant. Um, they have dinner at a restaurant. Okay, yeah. but okay. Um, so that's because you're talking about something that they are going to do. They are not actually there yet. Okay, once they get to the restaurant, we can then say that they are in the restaurant. Okay. 
but that's only if they're actually in and in, in sitting down. Okay, yeah. and even then, even then. So let's say that if I'm I'm at uh, I'm on a date with my wife, and my brother calls me. Okay, he says, "Hey, what's going on?" I said, "Hey, I can't talk right now. I'm at a restaurant." Okay. okay. Even though we are physically in the restaurant, I would answer him and say, "I'm at a restaurant right now. I can't talk." Okay, so I won't be able to speak, and then I would hang up. Now, um, I I could also say uh, I could also say, hey, I can't talk right now. I'm in a restaurant, and both of them would be okay to say. Okay, either either way, it would make sense what we're what what I'm telling him. But since we haven't gotten there yet in the story, uh, we we could only say that they are going to have dinner at a restaurant. Does that make sense? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Okay, uh, any other questions, class? No. Nope? Okay. All right. Let's go to our next story. And looks like we're going to get through all three stories tonight. That's awesome. All right. Our next story is our upcoming family vacation. And let's see. Let's start off with uh, uh, Servin. How are you, Servin? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Uh, Servin, let me have you read uh, the first. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the first, uh, those, those lines that I've highlighted. Go ahead and read the first, like, four or five sentences, please. Okay. In a month, we are going on a family vacation. My mom and dad are going to drive off to the court. Uh, the driving is going to take two days. I'm going to sit in the front, and my brother is going to sit in the back. And I'm going to read the map and tell that where to go. We are going to bring a tent and, and camp on the way. Excellent. Okay, Oksana, let me have you finish off the paragraph, please. Uh, we are going to visit new places and new cities. I am going to take lots of pictures. We are going to swim in the ocean when we get there. I am going to collect shells and look for Jellyfish. My brother and I are going to build sand castles. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. All right. Nice job. Okay. So, class, uh, does anybody have any questions about what we just read? Are there any words you do not understand? Okay. What's my sand castles? All right, make sand castles or build. Sand sorry, uh, and that here in this word, the T is going to be silent, so we say sand castles. Okay, okay. and okay. sand castles. These are awesome. All right, so get ready because I'm sure I'm going to get some awesome pictures. Okay, these are what what are called sand castles. Okay. So uh, in the uh, from the uh, sand, you build structures. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can okay. build things out of the sand. Now this is this is about what I used to be able to do, uh, because uh, I'm not that creative. Okay, but I personally have seen things like this on the on the beaches in California. There are people that have great artistic abilities and create amazing sand castles for, for people to see. These are, are called sand castles. Does that make sense? What's going to Berlin though? Uh, what's that? Which country is Berlin that? Uh, in, um, <laughs> understand me? <laughs> Uh, what uh, what country? What 
country were with, were with, these built in? Yes, yes. Which country is? is uh, I I'm I'm not exactly sure. I can click on one of these and see if it gives us uh, more information. Um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give exact information. Okay. But uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, you, okay, can, you can you can you uh, can Google sandcastles and 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 find out. All right, uh, are there any other questions? How about jellyfish? Who knows what jellyfish are? Jellyfish. Okay, jellyfish. All right. Well, let me uh, let me show you guys. Okay, these here are jellyfish. Yeah, see. Mm. Okay, if they, yeah, these are jellyfish. So if they touch you, if these tentacles right here, if these touch you, that stings and it hurts really bad. Uh, sometimes they can kill you if you get stung too many times. Okay, okay. those are called jellyfish. All right. This is this is very dangerous. Uh, yes, they can be very dangerous. Okay. okay. Um. And let's see, Eric, a, a tent. Okay, good question. A tent is something that you use to go camping in. All right, so uh, this would be a more modern tent. Okay, but a tent can look like this. Okay, like this. Like this one here. These are tents. Okay. Um, let's see what other questions I have. Uh, uh, Marilyn, uh, yes, what is your question, Marilyn? Uh, upcoming. All right, let's uh, let's see how this is used. Okay, so. Uh, where is the word at? Up. Um, I don't see. Is this uh, is this word in here? I don't see the word upcoming. Um. Oh, in the title. Oh, oh that, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking for it in the story itself. Excellent. Okay, so upcoming um, means that uh, it is. Uh, it is going to happen soon okay uh, something that it okay um, that is up upcoming okay so uh, upcoming could be happening in the in the next uh, week okay um, now if you see the word up and coming that is a little different. That usually talks about a uh, an, an artist that is starting to become very popular. That is up and coming. But upcoming is something that is going to be happening very soon. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Zufar wants to know about the word bring. Okay. Um, Zufar, uh, bring is to uh, is to take something to someone. Okay, it's sort of like deliver. But uh, let's say Zufar, you and I were in the same room. Okay, and we're we're sitting down, and I left my keys, my car keys, next to your chair. I could say, Hey, Zufar, can you bring me my keys? And you could say, sure. And you would pick up the keys and walk over and hand them to me. And you'd place them in my hand. You would bring me the keys. Okay, does that uh, does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, uh, any other questions, class? Uh, teacher Chad, uh, can I ask sure. you a question? Uh, is yeah. shall mean uh, architect? <laughs> is shall mean uh, architect? I'm going to collect shells. Uh, oh, shells. Um, where are shells? I'm going to collect shells and look for... Is, it is jellyfish. Look for jellyfish. Okay, so shells. So collect shells. <laughs> All right, so this word... Okay, these would be... Uh, you can call them seashells. 
uh, seashells or just shells. Okay, and uh, these are what shells are. <clears throat> okay, so the, this is what uh, she is going to be collecting. These are seashells or uh, just shells. Does that make sense? <laughs> Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, thank you very much. Collection. Like sure, okay. no problem. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, chat. Yep, uh, okay. Uh, any other questions? Uh, so, Tamara, uh, a vacation is, is like holiday, um, but um, it's, it's, it's going to be for an extended period of time. Uh, some people, I know in uh, in England, they probably say I'm going on holiday, and that's like taking a vacation. Okay, in the United States, holiday and vacation are two separate things. Okay, a holiday would be uh, be something like maybe Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, um, or um, uh, you know either a a a religious time when you don't have to go. To work, or you you shouldn't go to work because you're going to celebrate. Uh, we also have the Fourth of July. The Fourth of July in the United States is Independence Day, and we celebrate our independence from England, okay, or from Britain. That is a holiday. But when I go in on vacation, it's time away from work. Okay, time away from work. Okay, that uh, d is not necess it doesn't necessarily match up with um, with a, a holiday. It's just time away from work, vacation. Teacher, holiday is a a, a national party. Uh, yeah, it would be it would be more like a national a, a national day uh, when uh, when no one no one is really working. Some people still do. Okay, but it's it's more of a it's nationally recognized. Okay, that is a holiday, but a vacation is not nationally recognized. That is a day that you have set aside to uh, stay to not go into work. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Eric says uh, the drive is going to take two days. Is that the same as the travel is going to take two days? Um, uh, it would be the same as saying uh, we will. We'll be traveling uh, for two days. Okay, um, the drive and uh, travel, okay, uh, would not be interchangeable in this uh, in this sense. Okay, uh, because um, yeah, uh, we could say we will be traveling for two days. Um, the drive is is going to take yeah, because we're talking about the uh, the future here. So uh, we will be traveling for two days instead of the travel we'll take. Okay. Um, great. All right. Well, let's uh, let's answer some questions before our, our time runs out. Unless uh, unless you have any other questions, any other questions about what we read? No. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our reading here. Okay, so um, here, so let's go to, ah, come on. All right, so uh, Alexander, uh, let me have you read question number one and yeah. uh, give, me the, give me the answer, please. Yeah, number one, when are we going on a family vacation? Is in one month, we're going to the family vacation. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in in a month, they are going on a family vacation. Good. Teacher, we are going. We uh, we talk about they. Yes, we would say they. We would say they. Okay. But like uh, 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 before, uh, some, some people are at different levels. Okay. And, uh, and I don't want to get into uh, the grammatics. Okay, I want to make sure that uh, that people are understanding what they are reading more than anything. Okay, or that they can find the answer within the text. Okay. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Zufar. Question number two, please. Uh, who is going to drive? Uh, my mom and dad are going to drive us to the coast. Okay, yeah, so his mom and dad are, are going to drive, okay, drive them to the coast. Okay, good. All right, how about uh, question uh, number three, and this is for Yasin. Yes, sir. Uh, one minute. Uh, how long is the drive going to take? Uh, the drive is going to take two days. Okay, good. The drive mm -hmm. is going to take two days. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And I have to go, uh, teacher. Uh, see you again later. Yeah, all right. Care. We'll see you. Take Bye. care. Bye. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Rex. Uh, question number three, Rex. Four. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yes, it's uh, question number four, not not three. Where is going to sleep? Where is my brother going to sleep? Um, I'm going to stay um, front. And you. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, he is going to sit in the front, and his brother um, is going to sit in the back. Okay, so uh, so that's uh, up here. Um, so yeah, so talking about him, we would say, okay, go ahead and repeat. So uh, he is going to sit in the front, and his brother is going to sit in the back. Please repeat that, Rex. Person is going, uh, to, is going to sit in the front of the car and his brother is going to sit in the back. Good, thank you. All right, how about uh, question number five? And this is for uh, Marilyn. How are you? Go ahead and read number five, Hello. please. Okay. Uh, who who is going to rig the the map? Um, I am going to he he going to read the map and tell that where to go. Good. Yeah. Going so he yeah he is fine. He is going to read the map and tell his dad where to go. Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Yes. Uh, let's go to. Um, let's do one more, and then we're we're just about out of time. Uh, question number six. All right. This is for Jose. Okay. Where are we? Where are we going to sleep? We are going to sleep in a tent and come on the way. Good, yes, they'll be sleeping in a tent and camping on the way. Very good. All right, excellent job, you guys. Thank you for, for coming to class. Okay, great questions about what we read. Okay, I hope you were taking notes uh, about the uh, some of the new vocabulary words that were there. All right, and uh, have a have a great uh, morning, night, or afternoon wherever you're at. All right, you guys, thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you later. See you later. Have a nice Bye. dream.